Okay, so welcome back. And in this section, we're going to talk about time management. You see, often people say that they just don't have enough time to work towards their goals. Of course, we all have busy lives, you know, trying to fit in work and playing taxi to the children and every other little thing that you need to do. There's always something that gets in that way of me time. Well, if you consider that Richard Branson has the same amount of time in a day as every one of us, then how is it that he can achieve so much more in the same amount of time? You know, he owns over 400 companies. And there are other people that own many more companies than him. And still they only have 24 hours. When we strict with our time and realize where it is that we spend it, then it's a lot easier to manage it and to get the most out of it. It might not surprise you to know that most people spend around four hours a day watching TV. Now that actually equates to nine years of your life in front of the box. Now I'm not saying that you need to stop watching TV. This is simply a tool to measure where your time is being spent. You will then be able to determine how and where you can free up some time to do the things that you really want or need to do. You can add whatever other activities you want to on this sheet as well. Maybe you spend your time doing something differently. And of course also the activities that you do might be different from day to day as well. The fact is when we tally up all the hours that we spend every day on each activity then we should get to 24 hours. So if you look at the time management sheet in your manual then you'll see there there's two columns for currently and in the future. In the first column under how many hours spent each day you've got how many hours do you spend sleeping, cooking, uh, family time etc. So you can write down currently how much time do you spend on that and in the future how much time do you spend on that. And so then you can actually take out and see where you might be able to save some hours. So let's say you were watching four hours TV a day and you needed to save two hours so that you could go to the gym. You could hypothetically just change your four hours from currently watching TV to in the future watching two hours worth of TV which will then free up the two hours to go to gym. So this is just one time management tool. In fact during the training I'll show you at least three time management tools and things that you can do to free up your time to be able to focus on that thing that it is that you actually want to do. So ask yourself what is it you want to free up time for? What is it that you really need to do or want to do? Whether that be read a book, go to the gym, create some time in a day so that you can cook for yourself, whatever that might be. So that's it for time management. And in the next section, we're going to talk about anxiety.